Gordon Van Vanston ya Pak Rival. Iya iya ya, benar uh, Pak Sukardi. Sudah di admit Pak. Oke jadi waktunya uh, dimulai dari jam 10.20 sampai 11.20 ya Pak Rival. Iya. Yep. Nanti di, kasih, ya. kasih Pak Sukardi. Ya, ya. Nanti lima menit uh, di waktu penghujung kami akan mengingatkan Bapak di chat ya Pak. Oke. Okay. Hello, Mr. Gordon. Are you Hello. there? Hello. Oh, there Hi. you are. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Gordon. It's really nice to have you here. That's my pleasure. Thank you for the invitation. How are you? You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? How are you today? Very good. Yes. Very good. Are you still Myself? in Singapore? Actually, no. I just moved. I just relocated. I now live based out of Bangkok. Oh, Bangkok. Wow. Yeah. Seems so like you're five, going... After five years in Singapore, I thought I'd try a new city. So. Oh, right. Yeah. How is it right there in it's, Bangkok? It's nice. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's definitely different pace than Singapore, but... <laughs> I see. I see. I'm doing Better good. food. Well. Good food and cheaper. <laughs> good food and... Oh, yeah. I see. There are a lot of... Some sort of unique food right there. Yeah. On the internet. I miss, my, I miss my trips to Indonesia, though. Hopefully, uh, I used to go to Jakarta and, and other parts of Indonesia, but hopefully uh, soon we'll be able to travel again. So. Yeah, yeah. We really hope we can see you in a person sometimes yeah. in the future. It would be great to have you and meeting you, share a lot of stuff perhaps in the future. Mm -hmm. yeah, myself as well, yeah. I actually never made a trip up to Pontianak, but I hear it's a really nice, beautiful place. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Um, I guess we can simply uh, get ready to start, Mr. Gordon. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, you to the members right here, to the students also and the others in Indonesia. <laughs> Hello, semuanya. Selamat pagi. Masih pada semangat gak nih kira-kira? Masih awal ya, tapi... Uh, Jangan, jangan udah lesu gitu. Kali ini uh, pematerinya ada Mr. Gordon. Mr. Gordon Fanstone dari PT Academy. Say hi. Say hi guys. Hi. Hi Mr. Gordon. Oke. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Gordon bakal menjelaskan tentang PT uh, Academy. Aku mau kasih tahu secara singkatnya biar kalian ada gambaran PT Academy itu apa. PT Academy itu semacam tes untuk kemampuan mengasah, mengasah mengukur kemampuan bahasa Inggris kamu sehingga kamu bisa tahu nantinya seberapa tinggi seberapa level kemampuan kamu kayak gitu nah untuk setelah mengukurnya nanti bakal diberikan sertifikat kayak gitu ada ada sertifikat bahasa Inggris ini dari PTI kamu bisa mengurus visa semacam visa atau uh, studi ke luar negeri ataupun bahkan mengejar mengejar beasiswa juga nanti kamu bisa mendaftar menggunakan PTI Akademik dan banyak hal lagi yang ke, untuk keperluannya ke luar negeri kayak gitu. Jadi intinya ini nih semacam tes yang buat kamu bisa ke luar negeri. Simpelnya kayak gitu. Oh ya, ini aku uh, aku mungkin udah pada kenal kemarin tapi aku perkenalkan diri lagi. Aku lupa perkenalan diri nih aku Rivaldo dari Best Partner Education aku bakal mendampingi Mr. Gordon nanti kalau kalian ada pertanyaan kalau ada bingung atau apa kalian bisa langsung tanyakan di chat atau langsung juga bisa melalui speakernya diaktifkan kayak gitu ya teman-teman lanjut lagi aku udah sampein tentang itu kayaknya kita bisa nih dengar penjelasan sama Mr. Gordon, oke? Okay? Oke, okay, Mr. Gordon, uh, I would like to give you the time right now, and you can start the presentation, and the place is yours. I mean, the stage okay, is great. yours. Okay, great. Thank you, Rivaldo, and thank you, uh, Best Partner Education. Thank and you, thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you all today. Uh, my name is Gordon Vanstone. I'm the Client Relations Manager for uh, PTE uh the pearson test of english in indonesia 
so thank you so much for joining and, and your time. Uh, Salamat Sore, that's so, uh, it's the only Baha'i Indonesian I can say even good. So, uh, from there, my presentation will have to be in English. So it will be a good opportunity for you to practice your English, especially since I'm speaking about an English language test. I'm sure a lot of you are interested in studying English and, uh, uh, and will need to take a, an English language test at some point in the future for your study abroad uh, goals. So I'm going to share my screen. And I hope you can see it. There we go. Uh, can, can you see my screen okay? I hope so. Yes, yes, we can see the screen okay. really clear. So it's really nice to meet the, uh, the students of uh, Santa, Santo Palace uh, Pontianac. And thank you for joining us today. And what I'm going to talk to you about is I'm going to introduce our high stakes language test, which is called the PTE Academic. And it's a fast, reliable, and convenient English language test. And that's what I'm going to show you today about uh, you know, what makes it different than the other high stakes tests, uh, the other language tests in the market, and why you may want to choose the PT Academic as your option when you're looking at study abroad or even study in Indonesia, but you're looking at scholarship options, or maybe you're looking at uh, international programs um, that you want to study in. So our test is approved around the world. We're even approved by governments of the UK, Australia, and New Zealand for visa applications. So if you go to Australia to study, you may want uh, you may want to work afterwards and you can use the PT academic for your post-study work visa. Um, and in the UK, some, you may go on a foundation program uh, into uh, like into or study group. These offer foundation programs. And quite often for those programs, you'll need a tier four student visa. And for that, you need to apply to the government and you can use the PTE academic for that uh, visa as well. So the company that makes the PTE uh, is Pearson. That's why it's called the Pearson Test of English. And we are actually the world's largest education company. They make textbooks, we make uh, many assessments, we make online learning platforms, uh, we make qualifications. So Pearson is a really large education company with 24,000 employees in more than 70 countries. And um, so you know that the PTE test has many years of experience and expertise behind it. So our test is developed by the experts in the field of education and experts in the field of English language learning. So we also have an office, even though I'm not based out of Indonesia, there is a, a, a Pearson office in Indonesia who, who sell many of our products there and work with schools and, uh, and organizations. So the PT Academic, what really makes it unique is it's 100% computer-based. It means that you will do the whole test on a computer and the whole test is marked by a computer as well. So we don't use human markers at all. We use what's called AI. Who knows what AI is? What does that stand for? It's an artificial intelligence. Yeah, so it's a big buzzword nowadays. So it's the fact that computers actually have an intelligence, can have an intelligence that's all their own. And uh, so we've developed this AI marking engine that will mark a student's speaking and their writing, usually what you'd need human marker for. And it actually does it more fairly and more accurately. I'm gonna get into that later. So what that means is our test provides the most unbiased and secure proof of your English language skills. So when you do our test, it's accurate, 
and it's really fair and unbiased, which I'll talk about later. And you can use our test uh, for university applications, for professional bodies, like if you want to be a nurse or a doctor sometimes in another country, uh, engineers in Australia, uh, you can use our test as well. Quite often you'll use an English language test for that. And migration, if you're just looking to move to another country and work, quite often they'll require an English language test as part of that migration process. So just a little bit about the PTE academic. The world might be on pause, but it doesn't mean I have to wait. I am ready for success and nothing is going to get in my way. I am sticking to my plan and I will make it real. I'm taking action today so my future can start tomorrow. PTE is a secure English test for your visa and study application. It's quick and accurate computer-based testing with results typically available within just 48 hours. PTE. Ready when you are. Okay, so that's uh, just gives you a little overview of the PTE test, a uh, short little video or, or, or preview of it. Um, some of the key points in there are, you know, that this test is ready when you are. Um, so it's acknowledging that the last two years where the world's been on pause, right? Where because of the COVID crisis and, um, but now things are starting to open up, which is really good. And so you can re-ignite uh, your study abroad dreams. Uh, and so because our test is convenient and fast, you know, it's really once you've decided, okay, now I'm ready to go and study in Australia or study uh, at, at um, or study in the UK or, or Canada, right? You, our test will be ready for you. Uh, because it's convenient to book into and you get really fast results. So that's what that uh, was about. And all those people in there were different people, you know, uh, using an English test for their different needs, right? Some of them for migration, some of them for study abroad, but they've all chosen the PT academic because of its unique uh, advantages, which I'll run through here. First is that it's fair. That's because we use the AI marking engine. So it removes any chance of human error and human bias. It's fast. Uh, we have the fastest score return time of any test. You get your results under two days. It's convenient to book into. You can schedule a test from our website up to 24 hours in advance. So that means just 24 hours before there's a test date, you can schedule our test and is recognized around the world by many universities. And all of this is because of the AI marking engine. So what is the reason why we said we don't want human markers, we want to use AI? Because whenever you use human markers, this situation can happen. This person, this girl, student one says, here's my answer. And this interviewer or human marker says, yeah, that's an average answer. You know, he thinks it's, it's okay. And he gives her a, a five or something or a four, right? Uh, and then this exact same student, maybe he's in a different country, maybe they're in the same country, but this human marker had a, had a nicer morning. <laughs> so she's in a better mood. Uh, maybe this guy has stress out and is angry about something, or maybe he's just dressed better. Maybe it's because he's a man, right? But he gives the exact same answer. And this marker says, oh, that's a fantastic answer. He gets a six, he gets a seven, right? This situation is not fair, but whether people want it to be the case or not, whenever you have human markers, it's inevitable. They're either gonna make errors or there's gonna be a bias. We call it implicit bias. Sometimes they don't even know. It's in their mind, but they don't know they have that bias, right? that he has blonde hair and she has red hair. So people think he speaks better English, right? Um, that might be an implicit bias. So this exists whenever you have human markers and we get rid of that because we replace it with machine scoring, which is data driven. 
which means this student says, here's my answer. It says that's equivalent to a five because I've matched it with all the data points that's been input to me. And he gives the same answer and it will always say that's a five as well because you know the content was the same, the pronunciation was the same. If it's the same answer, the same English ability and level, the machine can only give the same output of what the score is. So that's why we use it. That's why it's fair and unbiased. So if you're interested to try the PT academic, if you're looking at studying abroad, you need an English language test. Um, I'm gonna show you quickly how you can book a test. So this is what the whole process looks like, the registration and delivery of results. So you can go onto your phone or your laptop, you go to pearsonpte.com and right away on the landing screen, you can say book a test. It will take you to the country, the test center you wanna study in. We have one in Pontianac. And then you can book the time and date just 24 hours before. So if there's a test on Saturday, you could take that test by booking today, right? If there's one on Friday afternoon, you could take that test by booking today, right? Then you go to the test center, you take the test. Uh, we've actually reduced the length of our test from three hours to two hours. I'll talk about that more. Your scores come back under 48 hours. So 1.2 days actually was the score return time uh, as the average score return time. And then you can start providing your scores to universities, uh, foundation programs, uh, uh, scholarship bodies. So if you have a deadline to make, you can do this whole process in under five days. So let's say you want to apply for a scholarship and your deadline is within a month, right? And you need a, a certain score on your English language test to get that scholarship. Well, you could do the PTE test, get the result and be a little bit lower than what you need. And because our return time is so fast, you can do it all over again. And you could do it two or three times within you know, a month. Uh, so you can make sure you get that score in time for what your purpose is. So when you go to our website, you have a guided registration or a journey manager that will take you to the right test because we have PT academic and PT UKVI. For most cases, you'll want the PT academic. That's used all around the world for university migration. The, you might, the PT UKVI is only done in Jakarta at this point, and it's only needed if you need to apply for a UK visa. So like a, a student visa tier four student visa. Okay. Uh, the other thing I would highly recommend is that if you want to book a test, uh, contact Best Partner Education. There are experts in the, in the uh, Pontiac region. Um, they've booked lots of students already. So they can help you with booking your test. They can get you discounts. They can help you, uh, you know, resell test vouchers. They can also help you with, uh, um, practice material and preparation, uh, giving you some direction to how you best prepare for the PT academic. So yeah, Best Partner Education has been doing an excellent job of, of, of representing and, and helping students take the PT in Pontianac. So if you do want to take it and you don't want to go through this process yourself, I'd recommend getting their help. Okay? It's really useful. Uh, and they do tons of other stuff with university applications and so on. So uh, the, the English language test is a small part, but um, big help there too. So yeah, this is basically, I'm just gonna run you through the process really quickly. You go to our website, okay, pearsonpt.com. You have a landing screen, it looks different now. We just redid the re website. You choose where you wanna go. Uh, and then I say, I wanna take the PT academic because I'm going to the UK for study, but I don't need a tier four student visa, okay? I choose where I wanna test, sorry, it says Laos there. You would put Indonesia. You get a calendar, you choose your date and time, okay? Then you have to do some pre-booking questions where we ask you just you know some simple data, like where do you, what language do you speak at home and why are you taking the test? This is useful, this is important. Uh, if you are being helped by an education advisor on that section, it will say, you know, how did you hear about the test? 
So you put in education agent advisor, and then you put best partner education in there. Um, so we know who helped you book the test. Okay, because that's important for us. Then you'll go to a checkout screen where you either pay by credit card or you may be using a voucher and you can put this voucher in. So sometimes you'll win a free test or sometimes if uh, you know we do events sometimes where we give away free tests or you know sometimes the agents can sell you a test directly, um, which is actually a more convenient. And then when you get to here, the payment screen, you don't pay anything, you just put in the code. Okay, uh, and that gives you your test for free. So it costs zero. And there's also a discount code you can use, again, which Best Partner Education can give you. And that might give you like 10% off uh, the test, right? So our test fee in Indonesia is 185 USD. So that means you'd save 18 American dollars uh, if you use that code which is a nice couple meals out. Uh, we test all over Asia. We have three test centers in Indonesia, uh, in Jakarta, Surabaya, and Pontianak, which will be the important one for you. It's at University Tanjampura in Pontianak. I think they do about bi-monthly testing there. And you go to the test center on your test day. And this is what our test center looks like, okay? So like I said, it's 100% computer-based. So you do the whole test at a, a, a computer console. Um, you have to register, you sign in, we do like a palm vein scan, you put all your belongings in a, in a, a, a locker. This is all high security because we need to make sure that uh, no one's cheating um, because the governments and universities that accept us, they are very important that the scores they're getting are accurate and and honest score. So this is all done for that. Now, when you take your test, it's being invigilated by a test taker administrator. So say you're having a computer technical difficulties, you raise your hand and they can come and help you. But otherwise, you're just, there's no face-to-face -face interaction. So during the COVID era, we've been able to run tests when other test centers are shut down because we don't have that face-to-face we're able to run them uh, with safe distancing and in a really safe environment. We've just introduced an online test. So um, this has just been released or actually is released November 16th. So you can now do the PTE from your home, uh, the official test that you can use your results for application in the university. Now we're just building the recognition of this test, uh, but, this will be offered uh, throughout the world. And so without having to go to a test center, you can do the, the test uh, online from your home. Um, so again, I'll probably be uh, introducing this to Best Partner Education and they can give you more details on the online test uh, and how to access it. Uh, as I mentioned, we are just launching this. So we're building the same recognition for this test. I think we've already, it hasn't even been released and we have over 200 schools uh, plus who already said they're going to accept our scores for the online. But uh, you need to check um, the recognition status before you choose this test rather than a PT academic. And you can't use this for government. So the, the government visas of Australia, UK, New Zealand, they won't accept an online test for any of the online tests, they want a test center. So the reason we came up with this is of course, uh, during COVID, we saw that many people couldn't get the test centers because they were closed. So the online test offers a way that you can still complete your English language requirement if something happens and the test center is closed, but also sometimes test centers are far away. Sometimes uh, you have medical needs where you're maybe not able to leave the house. Um, uh, you restricted mobility for some reason, and now we can bring the test to you. So it's that extra convenience for our test takers. So we are recognized all around the world. Uh, let me start where in Australia and New Zealand, where we're recognized by 100% of the universities in both those countries, and we're recognized by the government uh, for visa 
applications and many professional bodies. Also, we're recognized by the Australia Awards for uh, scholarships into Australia and work holiday visas. We're recognized by a growing number of universities around uh, Southeast Asia. So more students now are choosing these alternate destinations rather than the main markets like Australia, US and UK. A lot more students are now thinking about maybe I'll study in Singapore or maybe I'll study in Malaysia because it's cheaper, it's closer to home. And we're recognized by 40 plus universities in Malaysia as well as MQA. NUS and NTU in Singapore recognize us. Those are the top schools in Singapore. Uh, we're recognized in Thailand by Mahidol University. And we're recognized by the LPDP scholarship, which is really important for a lot of students in Indonesia. So you can use us for your LPDP scholarship application. 99% um, of universities in the UK recognize us, as well as all UK visas, things like the Chevening scholarship. Other countries in Europe, we have it in, so France, Germany, uh, Switzerland, Norway, the, check the university and they're very likely uh, accept PT scores. 90% of Canadian universities accept PT scores and, oh, this should say over 2,000 institutions in the USA accept us. Just some schools around the world that some might be ones you're thinking of. So I'm from Canada originally. UBC is a really nice school. Uh, they accept PT scores. Uh, this UCL is very popular, University College of London with international students. They accept PT scores and so on. Uh, Indonesia is a big scholarship market. So of course, LPDP is the big one. As I mentioned, we're recognized, but you can also use us for the Chevening Australia Awards, the Mora Scholarship, Fulbright, Ristik Dikti, Dikti <laughs> and uh, New Zealand Scholarships. So uh, we're also got you covered if you're looking at getting a scholarship for your study. And yeah, I need to update this. This is from 2020 when we were first recognized, but we are recognized for uh, LPDP. And you can see the scores of PT Academic 36 uh, is what they asked for the score. And we, I'll show you a chart where we uh, show the correspondence to IELTS. Okay. Oops. Okay. Uh, we also have a two hour format for our test. So the test used to be three hours. And from November 16th as well, we're going to reduce that to two hours. We've done our research and actually we find that you can get the same accurate results with a shorter test. And it also is more fair to the test taker. When you sit a three hour test, there's something called cognitive fatigue, especially like the brain can only work at the, the highest level for a certain prolonged amount of time. This is especially true when you're trying to think in a second language that's not your native language. That's a very mentally stressful and taxing task. So what happens in a longer test is you get cognitive fatigue. So some of the tests are four hours almost, if you can include the speaking and writing, and your brain gets tired essentially, and your, your performance goes down steadily as you get tired. So with a shorter test, you're able to perform at your natural ability for the whole test, rather than suffer that cognitive fatigue near the end of the test where you're making silly mistakes because your, your brain's tired essentially. So it's the same great test, just shorter. All the same item types that we had in the other test, we just reduced some of those item types. Okay, so, uh, and we removed what was a 10 minute break in between for the bathroom break, because two hours, you should be able to hold it. Um, yeah, so, and again, this is based on research. Um, then just makes our test even more convenient and a better option for, for you when you're looking at study abroad. So basically, we've broken down some of these. Um, it used to be essay. You may have to do two or three. Now you only have to do one or two. 
this retail lecture, I think there used to be three or four of those. Now there's one or two, right? And we can get generate the same data from that. So uh, we don't need you to do these tougher tasks. And some of the ones we reduced, are some of the speaking ones are some of the more uh, complex, some of the more uh, asking for more language output, um, like more longer periods of speaking in English. So it's good that we reduce those because uh, it actually makes your job easier in the test. Things like this, describe image. Used to be six to seven of those. Now there's only three to four. Retail lecture, three or four, one to two. So these two item types were probably the two toughest for students in the speaking component. And, you know, so now that you have to do less of them, it actually makes, makes the test a little bit easier to get a better score. So, as I mentioned, uh, once you sit the test, you're gonna get your scores back and it's gonna give you your four cognitive skills, your overall score, and then these four communicative skills, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. This is what universities see when you apply. Usually you just need to put in your score report code to the university. <laughs> Some will ask for a PDF, which you can download and send, but uh, most will just say, you know, you can, on the application process, you can just enter your score report code and they'll be able to call up this score report and see your scores just as it looks like this, right? The scores are valid for two years, like the other high stakes test, and you'll get your results under, uh, within two days, uh, which is really good. And like I mentioned, we align to the other high stakes test. So if you've taken another high stakes test, um, you can see what you score on the PT academic with your score there. So say you're a 5.5 in IELTS, means you're sitting around a 42 in PTE. What you can do as well is we have a practice test that's a mirror image of the actual test. So you can take a PT practice test from your home. It will mark you and give you a score report in 20 minutes. And you can see, hey, I was a 5.5 in IELTS but I'm a 50 in the PTE academic, or I'm a 55, you know, I get a much better score in this test. Um, so, and then, you know, when you need to sit the actual test for your purposes, that it's a better test for you. So it's a great way to sort of test it out beforehand and see where you land. But of course, we always recommend preparing. So how do you prepare for the PTE academic? So if you want to sit the PTE, uh, what I would recommend is you take a mock test, uh, which you can buy online. There is a fee for it, uh, or you contact Best Partner Education, and often they can sell you a practice test as well. Um, and the mock test is a great way to, uh, like I said, to see where you are, your level's at, and get a familiarity with the test. It's a full two hour test that will give you a score report just like you would get in the actual test. So you know where your areas are you need to improve, okay? Um, it will mark your speaking, it will mark your essay writing just as the actual test will. But even before you take the practice test, there's lots of resources you can use to practice and build your score. So again, if you want to sit the PT test and you want to prepare first, contact Best Partner Education. They can help you, direct you to these uh, practice resources. But some of them are the question bank. So these are 300 questions that you can access. Um, there is a fee for it, $19.99, but you can, uh, this just means that you can just keep practicing the 20 different item types that make up the test over and over again to get that familiarity. We also have a practice app you can download to your phone. This is free. And you can do sample questions when you're on the go uh, or from your phone. We have free courses. There's a language school, online language school out of Australia called E2L. They've created a free PT academic course. It's about three hours. It introduces you to the test, gives you tips, gives you all sorts of uh, good advice. And as I mentioned, uh, Best Partner Education are our uh, you know, education consultants 
uh, out of Pontianac who are really experts who can help you with more of this. We have textbooks available that you can order online if you want to self-study. These come with support videos, online activities, and question banks as well with the textbooks. So you can buy those textbooks from online. You can get an ebook or a hard copy. The ebook you get instantly, whereas the hard copy you have to wait maybe for it to be shipped. Um, we also have this new free course from Macquarie University, and it just concentrates on the speaking component of PT Academic because that's the one that's a little bit different than an interview component. But that's the one I think students should work on the most. So it's a really good uh, option for working on that aspect is the take the Macquarie. Uh, and I think it's like six hours total. Uh, and you can sign up free online um, and you can access all of this from our website. There's links to these courses to buy the textbook, to buy the practice test. Go to pearsonpte slash preparation. So again, it's our website and you can do that. We also have a YouTube channel which is really useful. So go to the YouTube channel. You can watch instructional videos. You can watch videos with test tips on each of the different item types. So you get a sense of what the test looks like and feels like when you're in the actual test center. Uh, I mentioned the practice test. So uh, it's now only a two hour simulation. Uh, you get your test results back in 20 minutes. And it's good for two reasons. One is to show you if uh, show where your level is currently at, and then maybe you need to practice more. And then when you're ready to take the test, before you spend money on, a, on an official test, you can take the practice test and it will show you our test more than any other mock test uh, that you can get for uh, IELTS or TOEFL. Our test will show you very accurately what you're gonna get on the actual test. Most students do better on the actual test than they did on the mock test as well, because the mock test itself gives you that testing experience and gives you a sense of managing time, uh, strategies for each question and how best to, to do that, okay? Um, if you want to try the PT academic, what you can do is, scan the QR code here, and this is called our taster. So you scan this QR code on your phone, and it's gonna open up, takes a little bit, a link. You can't see it because my phone, but it, it will open up a link uh, to the PT Academic Taster. And this is just five questions that are actual item types from the test. So the first one is, I need to drag and drop in the blank. So it's a reading component, right? So I'm gonna read this. Uh, lighting and music can affect people's consumption of food as well as... enjoyment of meals, I think it is. So I'm gonna drag that up. I put that in there, hey, right? And I can do that whole uh, item type. So again, scan that QR code and try your P and try the taster. Uh, gives you a good sense of, of some of the item types, what the PT is all about. And then from there, you can do the app and other things to get an even more good sense of what the PT academic is. So why do more and more agents and test takers choose PTE? First is it's fair. It removes any chance for human bias and human error. It's fast. You get your results back in 1.2 days. That's 36 hours. That's an average score return time, right? Uh, sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer, but usually on average, this is our time. So really fast. I've had people say, I've had uh, test takers say they took the test in the morning and their results were back that evening. Uh, convenient. You can schedule your exam just 24 hours in advance of a test date, so you can book in tomorrow afternoon for a test from today, because that's 24 hours, right? And we're accepted by thousands of universities around the world, 
scholarship bodies and uh, governments and professional bodies. So if you want to learn more about the PT academic, go to pearsonpt.com. Follow us on for updates and tips. You can go to at PTE academic is our Facebook or at pte.official on Instagram. And we're always posting updates. We're posting news, things like uh, uh, tips, uh, little quizzes you can do every day. So if you want to learn more about the test or you just want to practice your English uh, for a high stakes test, you can follow us there and you'll get little uh, opportunities to do that on our social. Yeah, so that's it for me. I'll take questions now. Uh, and again, uh, you can try the taster. I'll leave that up there. So if you didn't have a chance to scan it the first time, you can scan it again this time. And I'm gonna open it up for questions. Right, all right. Thank you, thank you very much for the presentation. It's really, really informative and great for us to have new information right here. I would like to uh, uh, let me recap all the information to them right. in, yeah, in Indonesian. Okay, guys, um, tadi itu adalah tes yang um, untuk kamu bisa mendaftar banyak hal dari visa, dari um, luar negeri, studi luar negeri, atau bahkan cuma tourist juga bisa. Kamu bisa juga mendaftar beasiswa menggunakan Pearson Test nantinya, kayak gitu. Jadi banyak hal banget ini. Dan kenapa kamu harus pilih ini? Ada tadi udah disebutin Mr. Gordon, satu komputer bias, jadi kamu uh, komputer no bias as well at, at all, kayak jadinya kayak mereka pakai AI gitu, teman-teman. Nah, kamu bakal mendapatkan kayak hasil yang benar-benar uh, 100% sesuai kemampuan kamu kayak gitu. Terus, ini juga hasilnya bisa cepat banget. Kayak gitu, jadi hasilnya kayak satu hari bisa sampai gitu. Satu hari, bahkan um, uh, tadi rata-ratanya itu 1,2 hari gitu. Terus selanjutnya, jadwalnya juga bisa diatur satu hari sebelum tes. Lanjut lagi, sekarang tesnya cuma 2 jam. Sebelumnya, kalau di tes-tes lain itu umumnya di atas 2 jam, bahkan 3 jam lebih. Lagi ada speaking nunggu-nunggu ini itunya kayak gitu. Kayak gitu, uh, terus... Selain itu, PTI juga udah diterima dari banyak negara kayak UK, New Zealand, atau uh, Australia, atau negara-negara lain yang uh, berpartner dengan PTI. Tapi intinya ini udah worldwide kayak gitu, udah diterima banget. Yang uh, salah satu yang paling penting itu adalah kalau kamu terbiasa dengan uh, teknologi, gitu, komputer, gitu, kan? kamu pasti ini bakal lebih mudah untuk mendaftar uh, mengerjakan tesnya kayak gitu. Oke. Okay. Aku rasa itu yang perlu aku sampaikan. Kalau teman-teman ada yang mau ditanyakan, boleh. Ada yang mau tanya kira-kira tentang PTE Academy. Ada? Oke, okay. dari Mr. Sukarti. Uh, Hi, Mr. Gordon. Uh, there is a question from Mr. Sukardi. Hmm. What types of question in the Pearson language test? Okay, let me go. Are they multiple choice questions, short answer, and essay or mix? Mix. Yeah, so there's a mix of different item types. Uh, sometimes I spend more time on this. Again, the app is a great way to do the the download the Pearson app and you can see all 24 questions. Uh, download the PTE academic, just enter that in and it's free to download for, uh, I'm going past it. So it's free to download and that will show you there's 20 different item types. So some of them would be similar to what you'll find in other tests. So here's your speaking and writing. Read aloud. 
is a speaking. So you'll have a passage and you have to read that aloud into your, so you have ear in the test center, you have earphones and a microphone. You just have the text on screen and you read it aloud. Repeat sentence. You'll listen to a sentence and then you'll have to repeat it, okay? Um, you know, uh, Indonesia gets monsoons in the fall or something like that, right? And I would listen to that. Then in three seconds, the microphone opens <laughs> and I have to repeat that, right? Indonesia gets monsoons in the fall, all right? So, and then the, that's all I do uh, for repeat sentence. Describe images, you'll get an image like a map or a graph or something. And you have to, for 30 seconds, you have to describe what that image is showing. You have to talk about it for 30 seconds, for 40 seconds, 40 seconds to describe what that image is. So that's one of the more complex ones. Uh, also retail lecture is you will listen to a lecture, like a university academic lecture, it could be about, you know, economics, it could be about art or something. And then once the lecture finishes, maybe it's like a minute or a minute and a half. Okay, once that finishes, your job is to retell it in your own words. So you say that lecture was about the art uh, revolution of the 1930s. It uh, said that during this time, uh, there was a economic uh, depression and the artist reflected this in their work, something like that, right? So I'm retelling the lecture in my own words. And again, I have to talk for 40 seconds into the microphone and the computer is recording that. And then that's what it's marking. Answer short question. This can just be a single one word answer. Summarize a written text. So you'll have a written text and you have to summarize that. So you will write it. Uh, yeah, so answer short question again, sorry, is a written one. So there'll be a question and I just answer with one or two words. Summarize written text is asking me to, uh, yeah, there's a passage and I need to read it and then I need to summarize it in my own words, right? I think it's about three sentences or a paragraph. And then an essay should be about 300 words and you know, that's basically, uh, I think the essays usually are like support, support an argument, right? Reading, I think you'll find is a lot like the other high stakes test, right? Uh, most of the reading ones are, are pretty much similar to what you get in a TOEFL uh, or an IELTS exam. Fill in the blanks, multiple choice, reorder paragraphs. So you'll have a, a paragraph and then you have to reorder it so that the sentences, so it reads like a proper paragraph. Fill in the blanks. That one's on the taster. And multiple choice, single answer. So these ones, there's only one answer. For multiple choice, multiple answers, you may be two or three right answers uh, for that. <clears throat> and then listening, again, will be similar to what you have in an IELTS. Summarize a spoken text. Uh, multiple choice answers. So you'll listen and then have to choose the best answer. Fill in the blanks. So you'll listen and have to fill in the blanks. Highlight the incorrect words. So again, you'll listen and there'll be text. And one of the words, some of the words will be wrong in that text. So you have to highlight those. Uh, multiple choice, single answer. Select what word is missing. Highlight the incorrect word. And write from dictation. So I'll just hear something and I have to type it exactly as I hear it. So those are the item types, 20 of them, some multiple choice, some you know, more extensive essay, yes. Uh, the speaking components, uh, you have to speak in the describe image and retail lecture, you have to speak uh, uninterrupted for about 40 seconds. So that's why we have the Macquarie has done the speaking uh, course because it helps you build that skill. Okay, okay. That's all, Mr. Gordon. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you very much for a very specific and clear answer, <clears throat> Mr. Sukarti.
Terima kasih atas uh, pertanyaan Yu juga tadi untuk jawabannya. Singkatnya, pertanya, uh, jawaban dan tesnya itu bakal di mix. Dan uh, untuk mixnya bisa dilihat di screen langsung itu berbagai jenis kayak gitu. Oke okay, lanjut lagi. Uh, there is other questions. There are other questions to Mr. Gordon. Actually yeah. from Kevin. Uh, uh, one and half day. How many hours? Twenty six to twenty eight hours. One point two days. Yeah. Yeah. One point two. I think that's like yeah, about thirty. Oh like yeah, thirty. Thirty. Thirty hours or something like that. Like, yeah. Maybe you write twenty six or something. Anyways, yeah, it's yeah. around there. That's the yeah. average time, right? So it could be a bit longer. It could even be a bit shorter. Um. So yeah, about average time. This is a good question. Each question have a time limit. Like one question, ten minutes. Yes. So a few things about the like one is that you can't, it's progressional. So there's no going back, right? Like a paper base where you can go like forward and back, right? That's PT academic is progressional. Some of them will be timed. So like some of these speaking ones. So each section will have a maximum time. So the sections will have the time, right? Where like speaking and writing can come to an end, right? Uh, when I'm doing the essay. Uh, so I can run out of time, say on the essay. And some of them progress you through, like the read aloud, that will just, you know, the microphone opens and there's a set time you're allowed to speak for. So then you have to go on to the next one. So all of these are like that, all the speaking ones, uh, answer short questions. But once you get to this section, the writing, there's not a time limit, but yes, you do have to be conscious of your time. So when you're doing summarized written text, and as you prepare to take the PT academic, um, yeah, you should come up with strategies like, okay, I should only be spending, you know, I'm going to have two summarized written texts. I should have about five minutes for each, right? And the test, uh, the I don't go into it here, but you can find information on how long you should spend on those. So like some of them will just push you through automatically because they do have a time limit, but then there's ones that don't um, and you shouldn't be wasting too much time on them, right? So to summarize written text, you know, you want to get that done so you can go on to the essay. So yes, beforehand, you should have those test taking time management strategies to know uh, I should only spend maximum four minutes on this then then I need to go on to the next one. Same with the reading as well. Yeah. So it's important, like for a lot of these, yeah, I think for the most of these, you, you, you have to finish, you have to have your own sort of time limit set beforehand because you can get to a point where if you work too slowly, I could be, you know, it will tell me I only have five minutes for this section left. So it will tell you that. But if you're way back here still, uh, you're going to have to rush through this, right? So, yes, there's some time management there um, for some of the questions. And you can find that online. A good question. All right. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Gordon, for the, uh, for the answer. Tadi, Laila, pertanyaannya itu kan ada limit-limit itu kan? Pertanyaannya, uh, apakah ada waktu khusus? Uh, ada beberapa soal waktunya full ada waktunya dikasih waktu khusus gitu kan, kayak satu atau dua menit, atau mungkin beberapa detik untuk mengucapkan kata-katanya. Tapi untuk uh, bagian yang lainnya seperti saya dan lain-lain, itu lebih ke fokus ke kamu harus juga aware tentang waktu yang sudah digunakan ini, ada beberapa yang nggak pakai limit kayak gitu. Tapi uh, intinya kamu harus coba ngeset waktu, dan juga jangan sampai waktunya terlewat, hingga habis kayak gitu untuk Laila. Terima kasih Laila atas pertanyaannya. Pertanyaannya lanjut lagi. Uh, Mr. Gordon, there is Dennis question about online test. Is it like online full from home or is there some specific requirement perhaps yes, for us? On, so the online test the, uh, that they were launching in November is a full test. Mm -hmm. Then is a proctor. So it's what you do. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole tutorial that goes through it, but if you register for that test, yeah, you have to do it online, but there's also someone who's proctoring it. So there's someone who's watching you take the tests from your home. 
You have to show them the area. It, someone cannot walk behind you or be whispering in your ear. So it is being monitored. It uses a mix of human proctored and artificial intelligence. And so, um, yeah, and there's also some computer requirements, some internet speed and stuff, but you can you check all of that before you register to take the test to make sure that you can meet those requirements. Right, all right. I see, I get, I get it. How, how about, I, this is my question, uh, Mr. Gordon, how about the, the mic, microphone, or perhaps the camera, is there any specific requirement for that? Yeah, and again, you have to check that. The, when you register for the test, it shows you those requirements. So you can test all of that beforehand. So when you go to our website for the online test, there'll be a section before you even book that says, check your, check your uh, requirements. So it'll check the internet speed, it'll check the camera, and it will make sure that you have what's necessary to to be able to sit an online test but yes there are some components like that i don't know the specific specs off by heart but yes yes there definitely is stuff like that um the practice test now you can't use those results officially but the practice test you can also do from home with none of those requirements uh and get the full test but the results are not official it's a practice test so again you can't uh, use it like the online test you can use for actual applications. Thank you very much for the answer, Mr. Gordon. This uh, question, can I just look at this one pretty quick? Can the test yes, payments yes. be paid by using bank transfer or must be paid via credit card? Currently, yes. credit card, we're looking at other payment options and adding those on uh, very soon because um, we do realize that everyone wants to pay by credit card or can. So we are looking at other options, possibly bank transfer. We're looking at maybe even like, is like Google Pay or something like that, right? Uh, PayPal, things like that. Google Pay, Grab Pay maybe even, I recommend it, but that's not used in every country. So um, it's hard to find something. The other option is contact Best Partner Education and that's they it. can sell you uh, a voucher. And then you don't have to, and I'm sure they have different options that you can do uh, through them. So that was the other thing I was going to recommend is, yeah, if, if, if you can't do it through credit card from the website directly, then definitely contact uh, one of our kind of education. consultants and they'll be able to resell you or sell it, uh, a test voucher direct. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for the answer, Mr. Gordon. I would like to recap the answer for Dennis. Dennis, uh, untuk jawabannya adalah online itu nanti full online kamu bakal dari rumah tapi harus diawasi ada pengawas kayak gitu jadi ada juga uh, keperluan alat-alat uh, seperti laptop dan juga mikrofon dan lain-lain itu kamu harus ngecek dulu speknya nanti bakal dicek kayak gitu bisa atau enggak menggunakan spek itu kayak gitu Next, uh, Mr. Gordon, there are actually lots of questions right here. Uh, it is about a security, the security if we test online. Yeah. Is it uh, like safe or safe. not? Like, he, he's afraid that he, he, is there any sort of, because we use computer and there is a, Camera. Oh yeah, no, there no virus is going to get through to your computer and air or anything like that. And, um, yeah, I mean it's it's more it's more the the security for the universities that accept and and that's why we you know Pearson View, who's our testing arm, they have lots of experience with doing this remote proctor test. We're doing it for other tests, so we've just brought it on for for PT academic. Um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, it's secure. It's safe. Um, it's all done on a secure network. All right, all right. Really Your good. data or the video, you know, being filmed or whatever. Uh, none of that. I mean, there's before you take it. There's a whole bunch of you know uh, information about you know how data your data will be protected and so on. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Gordon. Ini uh, untuk Dennis, it is benar-benar safe dan juga nanti pasti bakal diawasin benar-benar. Dia bisa bakal Uh, di tes orang lain kayak gitu ya dan juga untuk keamanan pasti bakal aman kayak gitu ya untuk Dennis selanjutnya Laila there is a question from Laila like 
do we need to pay for the ebook? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yes, you do. There's the fee for the ebook. I'm actually not sure what it is. I, you can also get bundles as well. So what you can do is you can buy the question bank, which is the previous slide. You can buy the question bank, uh, an e uh, uh, a textbook with sort of support videos and all this comes with the textbook and a practice test. You can bundle those together and actually save money as well. So you can get uh, these bundles of preparation material, which are really good, like in packages, which is probably the best way to prepare. Um, you can also get those bundles without the textbook as well. So if you don't think you need that extensive self-study with a textbook, um, say you're pretty confident in your English language, maybe you just want to get the, 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 the question bank and a practice to practice test. So you can bundle those together and it's cheaper price um, and you get all that practice material in one go. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Gordon. To Layla, itu jawaban dari Mr. Gordon. Itu harus ada biaya nantinya. Tapi kamu bisa dapat bundle dan pastinya bakal lebih terjangkau biayanya kayak gitu. Dan bisa dapat lebih banyak lagi uh, resource-resource-nya kayak gitu buat kamu belajar dan juga build test kayak gitu. Okay. And um, you, again, for the and those bundles can be found on our website, uh, Pearson PTE. Dot com, and then you go to preparation, and they're right there. All right, all right. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Mr. Gordon, we are out of time, yeah. and we are going to go to the next session in the different rooms. Okay. All right. Um, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sukardi, uh, for reminding us, <clears throat> and terima kasih juga atas. Uh, kesempatannya dari Paulus. Uh, we would like to take a picture actually before we move to other session. Yes, anyway, guys, yeah, Pak, jadi kita can you turn foto on? Dulu. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gordon, for the explanation about Pearson test of English. Thanks, pleasure. Thank you for questions today. To a great audience. Okay. All right. Kita ambil foto, hitung one, one, two, three. Satu lagi, gayanya bebas, guys. Mau kayak gimana juga bebas. Satu, dua, tiga. Oke, okay. thank you semuanya. Thank you, thank you very much for your time, guys. Thank you uh, telah menjadi partisipan kali ini dengan baik. And kasih, Mr. Pak Gordon, Pak thank you very much for your time as well. Ya, yeah, terima kasih. Thank you. thank you, Mr. Gordon. Thank you. Right. We're going to take care. Yeah.